nights and, and caught us on a, you know, on something where maybe we turned something loose. But the reality is, is, um, you know, it, it's sound. It's sound in some of the things that we do, and, and there's difficult things that, that we have to be able to match. And we knew that going into it. Um, you know, with with uh, live by the sword, die by the sword. Sometimes too often, um, but you don't like to die by three of them. You know, if you die, you, you take one of them, you, you you feel all right. But when you take three, it it, uh, it, it digs a little deeper. But uh, you know, we got to build upon the positives and those things and, and correct those little things. Not little things, but um, big things that show up. Of those there three, really which is a, there really is a give and take with this style, right? I mean, there there's some part of this that you're if you're going to be aggressive. You're going to take. No, there's a give and take with every type of style, um, and, and sometimes there are, there are little bigger risks with some of these things. But that doesn't mean you can't have some adjustments and some change-ups um, to lower the risks on, at times as well. So um, that's what we're really – I'm not saying it's the infant stages. The guys are young and youthful, um, but sometimes it's a little bit of the infant stages of what we do um, and, and, and building upon the package <clears throat> to have things where we, you know, can put ourselves in some situations where, you know, maybe you are going to give up some of the littler things and not, not as many of the bigger things. But um, not an excuse to it at all. Uh, the reality is, is you know, we expect uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna bet on our guys, and that's what I told him yesterday. I said, eh, not we're changing. I mean, we, we got to do some things better. But if, if I had somebody to bet on, I'm gonna bet on us. I'm gonna bet on myself. I'm gonna bet on those guys, and we're gonna continue to put them in positions and situations that, you know, we're gonna give them opportunities to make plays, and and they're gonna have to do it as well. What were the conversations like with Coach Meyer yesterday? Uh, I'm not sure. Which I mean, he understands. Um, I mean, he's been in this game a long time, and and he knows, uh, you know, he knows some of the pros and the cons, and the and the challenges that we're going to have, and and the challenges that 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 really good teams possess. You know, um, you know, there's some people who say that's as good of a receiving core as you might see uh, throughout the entire year. No, no excuse, but uh, um, you know, it, it's still one of those things that that coach knows. Uh, you know, he's going to challenge us, continue to challenge us, just like he does the players, just like he does us every week. Um, but he, he he was good. He was understanding. Um, and, uh, you know, he wants to see us continue to grow and get better. And could you talk about the challenge that Maryland poses? Cause obviously they're yeah, similar. Ball. I mean, they're going to have athletes. They're going to have skill. Um, you know, they're going to move the ball around. Uh, you know, their quarterback's going to be more of a viable option to run the football um, as well as, you know, you're going to get deep shots too, you know. And, you know, so it's, again, it's still, we're still studying. We're still learning, um, you know, on a Monday for what they do as well. Um, but, you know, every team is going to pose something. And they're going to pose a little bit of a different challenge probably with the quarterback and the ability to run. But they're still going to have this chance and the opportunity to take those shots on us as well. Luke, you, talk mentioned about that, you mentioned that if you were going to bet on somebody, you'd bet on your guys. Mm -hmm. Isn't that what this defense really is all about? When you're playing that tight, that tight bump and run coverage, I mean, it's gambling. And sometimes <laughs> you're going to bet on your guys and sometimes yeah. you're going to lose. Yeah, and, and but you also got to be smart. And I think that's where we're, we're making sure that we have, we have some of those things that and opportunities and times where, where we got to be a little bit smarter, um, you know. And I think that's what we're going to put on our shoulders as coaches. But yeah, and and you know, we want our guys to have confidence in what they're doing. And I told them yesterday, and we're going to continue to repeat it. That, you know, when challenged, I, I'd rather you know bet on myself. I'd rather bet on those guys and put them in those positions to to go ahead and, and know that we have confidence in them. To not think we got a wholesale change and knee jerk and, and do some things. It's it's a part of the game, um, you know. But. Uh, you know, it's, it still doesn't mean that you can't, you know, you can't have some ability. As you can see, the, the one week we got off, you know, we're playing off at eight yards and, and probably being a little bit softer and still give up a big shot. So uh, we, we had some things that we could do and there's some things we can do better, but <clears throat> we're still going to bet on ourselves. Luke, are the risks paying off and that the things that you most want to take away are for the most part being taken away? Yeah, I mean, they, they are. I mean, and, and our kids understand what they're doing, you know, and I think that, that the, the ultimate goal is and the things that we maybe didn't do well enough last year, uh, one of the big things was play better at the end of the year. And that's the sign of good coaching. That's a good sign of good teams. That's a good sign of a good unit that as they continue to build upon what they do at the end of the year, you know, they're, they're a lot better than they were at the beginning of the year. That doesn't mean we want to give up things early in the year, but the reality is we've got to continue to build upon the things that we have, the positives, um, and be able to, to correct the negatives. I'm not necessarily talking about Cincinnati because they threw it so quick, but your defensive linemen don't seem to be happy yet with the amount of pressure they're getting. Are they getting enough pressure on the opposing quarterbacks? Yeah, I mean, our coach is going to challenge us at all, you know, and we we talked about it yesterday. Coach talked about it yesterday. Is that that you know we got to be you know we got to be excited about the effort and the things that we did. Um, 
but we got to demand greatness and we cannot be satisfied. And that's, you know, I told him it's that's not an easy way to live your life, but you got to understand that there's a balance in the things that you do. And when you came here and you took this, you know, you took this challenge just like us as coaches that that anything but great is not going to be accepted. And, um, you know, so they have to understand that we have to understand that. But the other thing is, too, is they cannot get frustrated because you know, that's what people will do to that front because <clears throat> they have ability to get some pressure. But if they get the ball out, they get frustrated. They feel like they got to go do something outside of the, the realm of what we do to make something happen, and then that's when problems occur. As you analyze the film, how did Raekwon play? His, obviously, the most plays he's gotten by far. How did he, how did he look out there? Actually, I think he might have got a few more against Akron, um, or not against Kent, uh, but very, very, very similar, <laughs> very similar. Uh, I'm not sure it's the same, but um, similar colors. I was at Akron, so I don't want to do that. Um, uh, but no, I mean he, he played, he played, he played pretty good. You know, the, there wasn't a whole lot of opportunities, a whole lot of challenges to the to the middle linebacker. I think there was one ball thrown um, on an inward breaking route the whole night. So. Uh, most of the things were, were long and deep or outside, and, and with the exception of maybe a draw or two, um, you know, he's continuing to grow. He's doing a good job, and he's going to continue to get better for us. Luke, what does he need to get better at? Go ahead. So, what does he need to get better at, Luke? No, it's just it's just the overall. It's just making taking charge. That middle linebacker, uh, like Curtis Grant does for us when he's in there. I mean, he is the heart and soul. He is the leader. Uh, and then that's what that's what's expected of that guy. And, and for a freshman, he he's doing an unbelievable job. But um, again, the, the expectation of greatness is we're not going to let him set on just being a freshman. Um, we're going to need him to continue to grow. How is the uh, four to six seconds or four to six change for you at home? That, that application now? <laughs> well, <laughs> it really hasn't been a, a, a big of effect yet because they're not home yet. Um, but uh, it, there's there's different stresses, just like you guys talk about here, and taking a shot to see an 83-yard pass, and, and then you go home, and there's other stresses. So um, <laughs> that's all part of it. You know, it, it's like you said, this is the, this is the profession we chose. That's the life I chose. So um, maybe maybe it wasn't my choice all the way, or my wife and I's <laughs> choice all the way. But nonetheless, needless to say, it uh, it's the life we live, and. Uh, uh, it's challenging. Let's just say that they're doing well, though. They're doing well. They're doing well. It's uh, it's a roller coaster ride constantly, and uh, <laughs> kind of like, kind of like this game of football. It's a roller coaster ride, and and in everything we do in life, we got to have some balance. We got to maintain some balance, and and uh, uh, I appreciate you asking. Them. But it is your second set of twins, correct? Yeah, second set. So how, we've been through. How did you once. get so lucky? <laughs> <laughs> That's God's gift, and uh, <laughs> it was not exactly something that was uh, designed or planned or. Um, in the in the works was no no type of fertility of drugs of any sorts. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, um, it's just one of those uh, God gifts. So uh, we'll, we'll we'll accept it, take it, and love it, and move up, move forward. Look, speaking of twins, uh, Curtis Grant started the other night. Raekwon played a lot mm -hmm. and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm they're, just trying to, trying to they, get a segue there. They are they are like twins. They, yeah. they they're, they're that's they're a little further they're a little further apart, but yeah, but they act like it. I mean, yeah. they're they're best friends. Curtis picks him up every day. Uh, you know, it's, it's, takes him in the film room, does everything, makes him get. I mean, uh, they're they're side by side. They're hip to hip. They, they look like my two guys. No, they don't look like my two guys. <laughs> <laughs> but my two guys are never apart. Those two guys aren't far apart either. So, yeah. uh, you know, they got a great relationship. They know that uh, they're going to have to split and share some of the reps. And, and some, at some point in time, someone's going to get a little more. And, um, you know, I think they're both happy for each other. Has, has, uh, are you still going to go with the rotation you've got, though, with Curtis and then Raekwon? I mean, or does that in yeah. flux right now? Yeah. Or, I mean, just right now. Raekwon had another pretty good game. Go he ahead. did. He yeah. did. And, and we kind of went into the game, and, and I had communicated and talked with Curtis about, hey, if this becomes a passing game, um, you know, my, Raekwon might play a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And that was just a situation that, that you know, he had been a, you know, maybe a little bit better out in space and, 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 and in the coverage side of things. Um, but, you know, the way the game went and the way it went, you know, with Curtis probably not playing as much as and maybe he should have or, or we thought it was going to happen. It's just the way the game went. But, uh, you know, both of them understand it. Both of them have we've communicated uh, very, very clear with them. And uh, both of them respect each other and, and know that it's about the bigger the bigger the unit, the team, the, the defense in general. Can you describe Joey Bosa's motor, whatever you want to call it, what makes him go and uh... – is he special in that regard? Sometimes I mean, it looks like sometimes when he just puts his head down, he's going to get to the quarterback one way or the other. But 
What's he about, in your opinion? No, I, you know, Joey's has got the, the ceilings. The I mean, the, the the sky's the limit for that guy with with his abilities. Um, you know, and we're going to continue to put things upon his shoulders. And you know, he, he is he is a very dominating force. You know, he, he's tough. He's got the guy that's got the speed to to be able to get the edge, but he's got the power to to do some things inside. So um, it's an unbelievable combination. Haven't seen a whole lot of guys like it. Mm -hmm. um, but we're still going to expect him to continue to grow. I mean, Joe, Joey's got a lot of growth he can continue to do. He understands the culture of what we do. He goes hard. He's physical. He's all the things we ask him to do. Um, now we're going to ask him to continue to grow to do. You know the the strive for greatness and not be satisfied with where you are. Are you Just getting enough general. of a pass rushing threat from the other side though, opposite him so far? No. Uh, I mean, again, that's those are things we're going to continue to build upon. And um, when teams are going to get the ball out as quickly as they are, at times they're going to try to frustrate those guys. Uh, but we're still going to always continue to try to find a way to get the best 11 out there. Just in a general sense, just in a general sense, entering Big Ten play, how how happy are you with where the defense is? Oh, we're never going to be happy. You know, I think that's you, you've kind of been here. You've seen me long enough. You know, whether it's you know from the time I played from. Uh, some of those guys, to, to Jim Haycock having a big influence on that, to, and one of them guys is never satisfied, and, and that's kind of the way Coach pushes us too, is that we're not satisfied. You know, we like the progress, we like the guys we have. I, I love the units. I mean, we, we've got four units that, that these kids would do anything for us. They're they're starving, they're, they're pleasers. Uh, you can put your head on your pillow every night knowing that wow, you know, I come in there tomorrow morning, those guys are going to give me everything they got, and that's not always been the case most of the time here, <clears throat> but. The reality is, is we're going to continue to strive to get better. We're going to push them for greatness. We're going to not accept anything less than that. And, uh, you know, at the end of the year, hopefully we'll be, we'll be really satisfied with where we are. Luke, as his former coach, could you grade Anthony Schlegel, please? <laughs> it was, I told the guys, we finally got, we can see how a track tackle and an inside-out tackle was supposed to be done. I'm not sure the Dick Knight train laying around the neck was, would have been legal uh, in, uh, you know, in today's day and age. But, uh, you know, it's, you see what, uh, what the linebackers here at Ohio State are all about. Look, do you have to get ready for both Maryland quarterbacks this year? Uh, yeah, I don't know that there's as big a difference. I think one obviously has played a lot more as a six-year guy, um, might be legitimately a, a better runner, faster. Um, but I, I think you got to have a plan, um, just like any week. You know, we, again, last week Cincinnati, we had a plan for if they went to the running quarterback, and uh, you know, maybe not as big a plan, enough of a plan for for the few snaps, the, the snaps that we got. But nonetheless, we had a plan. Our guys understood it, so. Uh, that's the process that we're in now.